Hey guys, welcome to Bart Lowe's Barbecue, and today we're making a jotisserie chicken on the Kamado Joe Classic 2. It's gonna be such a fun process, delicious and tasty. We're gonna head into the kitchen to prepare the chicken uh, and then put it on the barbecue spit and back on the jotisserie and watch it cook. So let's get going. Well, let's prepare the chicken. A few steps that I wanna point your attention to is not all chickens are gonna come with butcher twine around it. So you wanna make sure that you got the, the wings and the legs tied up so they're not flapping around. You're not having to worry about that. And then I like to put it on the barbecue spit first. Uh, I've done a few cooks on this uh, so far and uh, we'll put the rub on. So you'll slide this in and go ahead and insert uh, the pointy spit here onto the chicken. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and put the other side on. And again, you're gonna notice that this um, has um, little knobs here that allows you to tighten it um, to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Make sure mine's tight. And then you're gonna notice you just rotate it like that and you're all good. Uh, I like to pat down my chicken to make sure that everything is good. I've done this uh, a few times, be off video as well, uh, making sure all that stuff is off. And if you, um, today we're gonna inject this with butter just because I love butter, but if you weren't doing that, you could put some olive oil or vegetable oil on and, uh, and then put your, your rub on. So that's what we're gonna do right now is we are going to just inject different parts of this chicken and what you're going to notice is different parts are going to squeeze out and that's fine uh, whenever you do this on a turkey um, uh, that's pretty normal and then we'll flip it get uh, the breast uh, a little bit and then get the leg as well angle it and just finding different spots to get the remaining um, juice in there and we're all good uh, and then now we're going to use uh, TD's barbecue love this is one of my favorite uh, barbecue rubs I love it. it has a really sweet flavor it's good on uh, pork it's good on chicken and now we're going to uh, season this. And before I do that, I'm gonna bring you in closer and then we'll season it that way. As you notice, this has some great color to it. Now we're gonna flip it, get all sides here. You know, and then we'll make sure you get all the different crevices that you see. Um, and then once we get this on the spit on the jotisserie, uh, i show you what that looks like. Uh, we'll do one more layer of rub, make sure we're all set. So let's get out to the Kamado Joe, show you how we're gonna set that up uh, with our fire and put this thing on there. Let's set up our fire. Uh, you're noticing I've got the half divider and also a charcoal basket. Um, I'll put a link in the description for these. These are just fantastic uh, barbecue accessories. Makes your life a lot easier. On this cook, we're using only half of uh, the um, charcoal basket. Um, and partly the reason we're doing that is so we don't overcook um, the chicken. Uh, we've got two different uh, fire starter cubes here, uh, squares. I've also got one piece of uh, peach wood chunk inside that charcoal basket. We don't need too much smoke on chicken, uh, but it'll give us a nice flavor. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and get this started. We've got the fire lit and we're aiming for 350 to 400 on our temperature today. So we're gonna let this fire up and then we'll go ahead and put on the chicken right when we get to our uh, desired dome temperature. All right, friends, now that we got the jotisserie to 350 to 400 degrees, I've opened up the lid. We're gonna go ahead and put uh, this chicken in and make sure we get it into position. Sit it on here uh, and turn on 
the jotisserie here. There's a button here if you're new to this. I'm going to bring you in and watch you uh, see it spin and then we'll let it cook for about 90 minutes or so is my anticipation. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and bring you in and add a little bit more rub and then we'll just kind of have fun watching it spin. All right, friends, I've sliced and cut off some legs and even a little bit of the breast, but I wanna show you, even with that darkened skin on the outside, which actually tastes pretty good to me, uh, look how tender and juicy on the inside it is. So even with a high temperature, good learning for me to pay attention to that uh, more consistently. Um, but man, like the chicken looks awesome. Mm. You get that sweet kind of barbecue love taste and a little bit of that kind of charcoal, a little bit of that peach from that wood. I mean, it tastes really good. It's really tender. Man, I like it. So uh, on this channel, we're always learning, and again, this is a new accessory for me, and I know I'm gonna to continue to hone in uh, on kind of fine-tuning temperature and all that kind of stuff and different things we're gonna cook on the channel. I got a few other things I'm gonna keep on cooking on the jotisserie uh, for different future videos, so hopefully you stay tuned. And if, friends, if you like this video, it's kind of just helpful to have you learn uh, what it looks like in the process of doing uh, jotisserie chicken, then like this video, subscribe, turn on the notification buttons. Let me know what you think in the comments. And remember, from my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue, and we'll see you in the next video.